First reading, a reading from the prophet Hosea, chapter 14, 2 to 10. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the deer of Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children and my dear young generation. Today, Friday, 8th of July, 2022, we are in the 14th week of the ordinary time. The gospel given to us is from Matthew chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. We are once again in the context of the election of the twelve disciples and sending them on a mission. Now, having seen the, what followed or what rather preceded yesterday and day before, here Jesus says, 
Now you are chosen and you are being sent out on a mission, but you are going to be like lambs among wolves. You will have objections, persecutions. You will be brought before the judges. You will be arrested. You will be condemned. So be sure the bringing the good news to the people embodies in itself, in the mission, even the risks and the persecution that will accompany the task of bringing the good news to the people. Now, Jesus says again in the second part of the same gospel, now preaching the good news even brings tension in the family. The same family will be divided over Jesus, will be divided over the message of Jesus Christ. The father against mother, the children against parents, parents against children. And they will be, they will be even so, so dramatically, drastically fight against one another to discuss about the, the message of Jesus Christ, the value, the saving power, the significance, the importance of the message of Jesus Christ for our salvation. Then the third part of the gospel goes on to, to, do, to the so-called comparison being made between the pupil and the teacher, between the slave and the master. Jesus says that the pupil is no greater than the teacher and the slave is no greater than the master. Now, what does Jesus want to tell us? It is to indicate that even the pupil and the slave will have to face the same repercussions, same consequences, like the teacher and the master, when they are chosen to announce the good news. We all are equal in the eyes of God when we are called to announce the good news, even in the eyes of hardships.